All right, folks. There's a lot of questions on MPI relays and just rear wheel drive or 4G63 swap harnesses in general. So I'm gonna try and clear up a couple of things here that'll hopefully make your life a bit easier. So I just have a couple of meters, a power probe, a battery, and a hacked up DSM 1G harness and a ECU. Um, I'm gonna show you how this MPI relay works. Um, so that you have an idea of how to wire it up and I'll show you the other wire that needs to be hooked up on the ECU uh, for your swap to work um, so let's get started okay over here on the harness you have a couple of grounds one of them is right near the ECU you're gonna you're gonna want that hooked up to a ground and then this one is up probably on the intake manifold someplace. Um, I don't know exactly where off the top of my head, but it's probably somewhere near the intake manifold. And it's another ground. So here's what we're gonna do. I have a ground wire coming from my battery all the way over here. I'm gonna basically just ground both of these with this one connector. I apologize for the camera. Okay, here we go. Okay, so both of those are now grounded together. On this connector right here, um, a lot of these wires uh, are trash. You don't need a lot of these. The one wire that you do need uh, for sure is this red with a black stripe. This is the one that powers up your ECU. It goes right over to this pin right here. Um, so you're gonna wanna feed this constant power all the time. Key on, key off, it doesn't matter, this thing should be on a 10 amp fuse and always get power. Um, all right, so as for the MPI relay, you got a bunch of wires here. Um, the red, or the red wires, those are the wires that kind of feed a lot of your sensors. Um, and for those to work, you need to hook up the black with a yellow stripe, the black with a red stripe, and the black with a white stripe. The black with a green is your fuel pump wire. That goes out to your fuel pump and it gives your fuel pump power. So I'm gonna show you how this works um, with, the, with the help of uh, some, some jumper wires here. So here's my positive. I'm gonna hook it up to the black with a red. Black with a red should really be on a 20 amp fuse all the time. Um, it always gets power, it doesn't matter what the key is doing. So this should be on a 20 amp fuse at all times. Black with a white stripe gets power with the key on. And as soon as you touch it to power, the MPI relay clicks. Um, so we're gonna hook that one up. I don't know if you just heard that, but the relay just clicked. So that's the black with a white stripe. That, once again, only gets power with the key on. And the black with a white stripe can be found in this connector right here. I just have a jumper wire going to it. The black with a yellow stripe, um, I have a jumper going all the way over to this connector. This is your black with a yellow. I just stuck a wire in there. And this wire should only have power when the starter is physically turning. So when you're actually starting the engine, this gets power. As soon as you let go of the key when the engine starts up, or if the engine doesn't start up, this wire needs to go dead. Um, so, you can hear that clicks the relay as well. So those are the wires that you need to hook up for the, um, for the ECU to turn on, for the MPI relay to work right, um, one other thing to note is when you do have this hooked up, as soon as you let go of the key, and if all this is wired properly, the ECU will ground this white with a red stripe that's in the MPI, and it will continue um, basically feeding your fuel pump power um, after it starts. So basically the way it works is right now, the fuel pump has no power. I actually have it hooked up to a meter right now, so you can see it has no power. As soon as I go to start the engine, which is really when I hook up this black with a yellow stripe, you can see the meter 
goes to 13 volts. And as soon as I kill that wire, obviously it's gonna go dead. So what the ECU does is, as soon as you let go of the key, this wire goes dead, the fuel pump loses power, but in reality, this white with a red stripe gets grounded from the ECU. The ECU tells it to ground, and it flicks the relay inside this, inside this gold box, and it keeps the power going uh, to your fuel pump. So we can actually do that right here with the power probe. I'm gonna jam in here. And you can see if I hold the ground on it, it will basically turn on the fuel pump. So um, hopefully that clears up a few things. Um, it's actually pretty easy to do once you kind of have a grasp of uh, the important wires. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just plugging wires into your engine. Uh, there's not a ton else that you need to, um, to wire in unless you're doing some, something strange. So hopefully that helps out and good luck. All right, thanks, bye.